Welcome back, everybody. Parenting is challenging, and sometimes it's just downright frustrating. That's why ABC4 News at 4 has teamed up with Donna Tetro for Kids Under Construction. It's our conversation. It's Monday and Friday on how to be better parents. She's joining us from LA via Zoom, and joining Donna today is Dr. Ken Ginsberg. He's a world renowned parenting expert and adolescent medicine specialist. So, doctor, let's get right to it. Talk about the importance of creating safe boundaries for kids and teens to push against, especially. As the world begins to open back up, absolutely. So, what you have to remember is that actually adolescents love boundaries, but they also want to test out new knowledge. They are super learners, they're natural explorers, and their brains literally go to the edge of existing knowledge to be able to figure out how far they can push because that's where they learn, that's where they grow. Our job as adults is to do two things. The first thing is to create really clear boundaries so that they stay within safe territory, right? Pushing is good. Expanding and learning is necessary, but you cannot go beyond these boundaries that are safe. And why do I set boundaries? Because I care about you. And as a parent, my job is to keep you safe. What's the other thing we need to do with those boundaries? At the edges of existing knowledge, we have to create exciting opportunities, golden opportunities to learn. So when we have clear boundaries and exciting moments at the edges of existing knowledge, then kids stop right there within safe territory and become their best selves. Dr. Ken, I love your excitement for this age group teens. I am with two teens now, 12 and 13, a tween and a teen. Talk about striking the right balance with a proven strategy, balanced parenting. And you say parents should think about themselves as a lighthouse? Absolutely. First of all, congratulations for having teenagers. It's a wonderful time of life. <laughs> um, so here's the thing. There's about 60 years of research on um, what works in parenting. And Telling kids what to do, why? Because I said so, doesn't work. Being their friend doesn't work because they don't want to disappoint you. We actually know what kind of parenting strikes that beautiful balance where kids will have the best emotional outcomes, meaning lower anxiety, depression, they do better in school, and they also behave better. They're much more likely to avoid risk behaviors. And that's when parents are both warm and really loving and set very clear boundaries that you can't go beyond. Why? Because I care about safety. Why? Because I love you. Not because I'm trying to control you. So the metaphor that I use is lighthouse parenting. Parents, you should be like a lighthouse for your child, a stable force on the shoreline from which they can measure themselves against. Look down at the rocks and make sure they don't crash against them. Look into the waves. And trust in your kids' capacity to learn to ride the waves, but prepare them to do so. Lighthouse parenting. That's beautiful. That's fantastic. Thank you for sharing that with us. Let's talk about something else you're passionate about. And that's this idea of reframing the conversation about teens. So what do you think people get wrong when they talk about teens, when they talk about their teenagers, and why that can be so harmful? Because what matters is that every parent knows how much of a difference they can make in their life of their teenager when they stay involved. You know, that's, I think, the most fundamental question for a parent is that, do I still matter? You know, I, I know how much I mattered when my kid was three and, and when they were first walking into school, but do I still matter? Well, you know what? If you believe the way adolescence is framed by so many people, you might answer that question, what I do doesn't matter. So if you believe that kids think they're invincible or invulnerable, if you believe that they're inherently risky, if you believe that they don't like adults, if you believe that they are irrational and don't have the ability to um, have calm thought, if you believe so many of the books that have in their subtitle the word survival, you know, that this is a time to survive, then you won't engage because you think it doesn't matter. After all, if kids think they're invincible and they're inherently risky, then all you're gonna do is shut them down and control them instead of engage and develop and help them grow to be their best selves. So, you know, you shared with me that you have, I think, a preteen and an early teen. 
So my answer to you is that you matter as much or more than ever and that we have to reframe adolescence as what it really is. Uh, we have to tell the truth about teens and we have to talk about it as an opportunity, as an opportunity to really build outstanding human beings. Um, so this matters to me more than anything. Um, and we have to really come together as a society and decide if we're going to build our future, then we're going to, we're going to, we're going to develop teens starting in our own houses. Don, uh, doctor, I just Dr. love this Ken. so much. And Don, I love this so much as well. And unfortunately, we are out of time. Such good information and such passion for this age group that sometimes, as you said, doctor, unfortunately gets the short end of the stick. And we're not going to do that any longer. They're going to thrive and they're going to do great in their own houses. So to Dr. Ken Ginsburg, we say thank you so much. To Donna Tatro, as always, we say thank you for joining us. We do want to remind everybody at home that Donna's podcast, Kids Under Construction, waiting for you right there at abc4.com. And if you've got a question for Donna, she's got an answer for you send them over to kids under construction at abc4.com to both of you i say thank you and to our viewers at home we'll be right back